Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a super fun, like chill, kind of girl chat type of video all about our wedding day. If you guys have not seen our wedding day video yet, I will have it linked for you down below. But it was such a special day. Like just thinking about it, it makes me so happy. It was definitely not an easy wedding to plan if any wedding is ever easy to plan, but this was especially challenging due to all of the restrictions and the pandemic that we're still in it was definitely not that easy but i'm really happy now like looking back at how everything went and that we were able to have most of our friends and family there i say most because not everyone was able to make it but with all of that in mind i feel like we had such an amazing wedding day and i'm so so grateful and i want to talk to you guys all about the day i have a few topics noted down that i will start with and then I also asked you guys over on my Instagram on my Instagram stories to send in any questions that you had So I will also be going through some of those if you guys are not following me yet on Instagram I will also have my account linked down below That's usually where I will collect all of the questions for Q&A's and things that we can discuss Anyway, it has now been around seven months since we got married. So we got married in June of 2021 We just celebrated our five-year anniversary a few days before that so I think it was a nice year as well to like tie the knot after five years of being together but with that said we have been engaged for at that point four and a half years we got engaged around six months after we met we were never in like a crazy rush to do our big wedding and the ceremony and all of that but once we did like once we decided that we are now ready the pandemic started it was like a month or maybe even like a few weeks after we had decided the lockdown started we wanted to get married in the summer of 2020 and then of course we had to postpone it one year there were a lot of changes that we had to do from our initial plan of what we wanted in terms of the amount of people that we could have there at one point just a few months before our actual wedding day our wedding planner told us that we we're only allowed 15 people then it was 30 people and then it was we could have two groups of 30 people so 30 people could be there during the ceremony and then we could stream the wedding to the rest of the 30 people so it was all kinds of back and forth and if you guys were also planning a wedding during the pandemic like my heart my heart goes out to you because I know the challenge. But all of that aside, our actual wedding day was really beautiful. For me, the most special thing that I have in my head, like yes, celebrating our love between Mo and I and having that very special moment, of course that is like the highlight. But for me, something that is so special is having all of our families together. For me, that is like the main thing, I think, when it comes to a wedding, is just having all of those people together in one place, especially in our situation, because we don't live in the same towns or even countries as all of our family do. So for me, it was just like, Oh, such a pinch me moment to have like my mom and all my mom's family and my dad and all of my dad's family like in one place like I haven't seen that in probably 17 years and then of course our friends and most family and them meeting my family it was very very special and that's the thing that I have like that's the thing that stands out to me the most in my heart in my memories is just seeing all of our loved ones in one place. We did have a wedding planner. That was a question that a lot of you guys asked about is if I did this all by myself and definitely no, I did not. This was something that I knew we needed to invest in, especially since it is a destination wedding. We got married in Ibiza in case I didn't mention that. That is where we met and it was just a nice like kind of full circle moment to be married there and just be back at the place where we met where it all started it was a very special place we rented a villa right by the water so we had a beautiful view the setting was just so so nice so we had a wedding planner who specializes in weddings in Ibiza that was important because again we're not there and she already knows all of the caterers and the floral people 
where to get technical equipment and all of those little things. So she was amazing. Her name is Ruth Alexander. I will have her website linked down below. She was such a dream to work with. And if you're looking for somebody either in Ibiza, I think she also does weddings in london or in the uk if you're doing a wedding there as well i would also highly recommend her she was amazing super organized really great energy with that said we did go to ibiza once to look at different villas I actually filmed that trip and i will have the video down below i will also actually have a link to my whole wedding playlist with all kinds of videos that are related to our wedding in case you guys are planning a wedding maybe need some advice or inspiration then hopefully those videos will be helpful on that trip we also did a cake testing with i think it was two or three different companies and then we also did meet with some caterers but we didn't actually do a taste testing so that was kind of <laughs> like we were a little bit worried about that but the company that we worked with they had a really good reputation and our wedding planner had worked with them many times before so we felt like we were in good hands and definitely having the wedding planner really helped me to stay more calm more organized and more present especially on the day because I did not want to have any bridezilla dramatic energy or anything like that I just wanted to enjoy the day I wanted to enjoy the whole process as much as possible and I actually did feel really good on our wedding day so we started getting ready I think it was like at around 12 or 1 ish i did my own makeup i have a whole video on that as well i'll have it linked down below but um yeah i got ready by myself in our bedroom and then mo he left and he got ready in one of the rooms in the villa and i really just wanted to keep it super chill because i know myself if i have a lot of people around me like i want to talk to them but i really just wanted to focus myself and be calm and like just enjoy the moment especially since i was doing my own makeup i felt like if i had too many people there it would just be distracting and i really wanted to focus like i was doing liner that alone requires so much focus and attention and so yeah i just wanted to keep my room like super chill when i was like 80 90 percent done with my makeup i had my hairstylist come in and he started setting up his things and we started doing my hair at this point the guests started to arrive so my mom and her two daughters my two sisters they came to my bedroom and they sat with me as i was finishing up doing my hair we just chatted and at that point i was totally fine and relaxed like i had done my makeup and that was something that was like oh it was in the back of my head like i gotta get this right i gotta get the liner on and the lashes i had individual lashes once that was done i was just chilling like i was super relaxed chatting with my mom and my sisters and i just i also felt like my mom was so happy on that day it brings tears to my eyes but like i yeah i just felt like my mom was so like smiley and happy it was just such a nice moment to be there with her and she helped me put my dress on and put my shoes on Whew. emotional <laughs> and my two little sisters as well like it was their first ever time attending a wedding so for them it was such a big experience too yeah it was just beautiful so after i got my hair done i actually did my body like lotion and i had this um like golden kind of glitter on my skin as well that i mix in with the lotion again i share all about this in my video on how i did my wedding day makeup so all of that is going to be in there i'll have it again linked down below but my sisters actually helped me putting that lotion on, on my back because obviously like i can't reach back there and i wanted like every part of my upper body to have a really nice glow and sheen and just look really healthy and moisturized and then i put my dress on and my mom and my hairstylist both helped me um, zip it up and cinch it in and all the little things that had to be done to the dress and then getting to the part where i walk down the aisle so we had the wedding at the villa that we were renting and had a really beautiful outdoor space like this really nice big kind of separate 
garden area to where the main like house and pool was which was perfect for this wedding because we could really put like some nice seating and have a nice arch and then we could have the ceremony there and then come back up and have the dinner and the dancing and all of that at the villa so kind of like separated it into two parts which we really liked but it did have a pretty long like walkway down and a lot of stairs <laughs> and this was something else that I was like god please don't trip like do not fall and I, I didn't it was great <laughs> I held up my dress a little bit so that obviously like I wouldn't trip on it also I want to talk about the songs that we chose as well so the song that we had as I was walking down was All My Life by Casey and Jojo. It's like a kind of like an old school song, but this was actually a gospel version of it. I will have it linked down below. It is like a gospel version, so I felt like it kind of gives you goosebumps, you know, and it kind of felt like you were in a more traditional setting because of like the choir singing. You guys just have to go and listen to it and then you'll know what I'm talking about. It was really nice and I loved the lyrics to that song as well. So that's what I walked down the aisle to and then my dad was waiting for me at the bottom of the stairs Which was so nice. He had my bouquet Which he gave me we made our way down onto the center of the aisle and then we walked like on the grass And this is where I kind of started to freak out a little bit first of all I noticed that my heels were sinking in a little bit into the grass and that I was kind of like starting to trip a little bit on my dress. You don't really see that in the video, but I think my dad noticed because he asked me at one point, like, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. But he could also have just been asking me because he is that kind of dad that's like, you know, he's very caring and loving. We had like lots of people there and I think he just wanted to like check in, you know, like regardless of whatever was happening, like being here in the present moment is more important than anything else. He was like, are you good? I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> anyway, at this point is where the, the craziness of the whole <laughs> ceremony started. Mo and I both look back and we think like, how? did that happen this was like the one thing that kind of went wrong in our wedding all of us like even our wedding planner were like how did we not like what happened there like this was crazy so the moment i stepped onto the grass and i saw mo of course i was very happy and i'm sure he was very happy as well but i think at that point we both realized that the rings are not with us the rings were originally in our bedroom in a little bag and i believe our wedding planner told mo that he needs to take the rings or it was mo's best man so his best friend to have the rings but it wasn't really like sorted there was so much going on on that day that for some reason that just slipped our mind. At that point, it wasn't like anyone's fault. It was just like a com commul commutative, cumulative, am I saying that right? It was like a, a gathering of everyone not specifically thinking about that one thing. As I'm walking down, I see Mo, Mo sees me, and I'm thinking, oh my God, the rings are still upstairs. The boxes in the bag was, were still there and I was remembering that. And then he was thinking, oh my God, I didn't take the rings. And then as I was walking down the aisle, I think Mo was doing like some kind of gesture to the wedding planner at one point, but I was like, I kept looking down and at the guests. So like I was and at Mo too, but I didn't see him doing this because he was doing this to the assistant actually of the wedding planner. And then she noticed at that point, she told the wedding planner and then the whole search madness started. So I kept walking down the aisle. When my dad gave me away, I met Mo. He told me I look beautiful. He took off my veil and I think I asked him at that point, do you have the rings? Or he asked me, I don't remember. <laughs> that was like one of the first things that we said to each other as we were at the top of the aisle. And then he said to me, no, I think he called up his sister to tell her. He basically like uh, waved her over cause she was sitting in the front row and basically said to her like, you need to help us find 
the wedding rings. And it was so difficult to explain where our weddings, our wedding rings were because obviously like there's a ceremony starting and we've got like the, the videographers there, photographers there, my brother who's actually did the ceremony for us. Um, he started his speech. It was a lot of craziness and apparently um, as we were doing the ceremony, I was looking towards Mo this way, but obviously Mo was looking this way and he could see the, the villa in the house. And apparently he just saw people like running around in the house trying to find the wedding rings. And luckily our wedding vows and all of that, it took up quite a bit of time. I think we were talking for maybe like five, six, seven minutes or so, something like that. And then plus, with the speech that my brother gave. You know, all of that took a little bit of time and just by the time that we got to uh, exchanging the rings and doing all of that, the rings were found and somebody ran down the steps and gave them to Mo's nephew who was the ring bearer and he then presented the rings. But that was crazy and we were literally thinking like how how did that happen i do think in the wedding video that you guys saw though the one that was posted obviously here on youtube there you don't really see any of that chaos because that's obviously like a much shortened version of the actual ceremony the main wedding video that we have is around like 45 minutes long so this is obviously like a much shorter version but there you don't really see like all of that going on which is just crazy but yeah our brother is the one who married us we did a very neutral ceremony so it wasn't a religious ceremony and we wanted to have somebody who we both really loved and knew well and who knew us well you know both equally and mo and my brother are very close as well so he was the perfect choice and he was really happy to do it as well and yeah it felt really nice to have my brother up there with us someone who knows us who we know i think it just makes it a lot more special and personal that way and since our wedding day we've also gotten married officially as well so this was really like a celebratory ceremonial thing for the both of us also at the end of our ceremony the song that we chose was this will be an everlasting love i will also have it linked down below i loved having that song at the end of the ceremony when um just after when we kissed and then walked back down the aisle i think such a fun and uplifting and just like nostalgic song unfortunately none of these songs could be included in the wedding video that we shared on youtube because of copyright reasons and all of that but in the main version that we have just us privately the longer one all of the songs are in that one so that's really nice to look back on and really have like the actual songs and the music that we played on the day actually in the video switching gears a little bit i wanted to talk a little bit about what i wore under my wedding dress since this is a question that i got asked so many times and something that i was actually very curious about as well so with the dress that i wore it was kind of more sheer in the um like bottom half like the top half was very sheer and then the bottom half it had like a little sheerness to it so i knew i needed to wear something nude and something that didn't have like any lines on it where you could see like a demarcation and where something would end and start so i ended up wearing these spanx the color is very close to my actual skin tone so it just looked really invisible on the actual day i also kept these on for my second dress that i ended up wearing for the party and the dancing and then these actually came really really in handy because that dress was silky you can really notice a lot of like your curves and the textures and stuff underneath the dress since it was like a silky thin material so this just just really helped to kind of like smooth everything out underneath the dress and then for my top I wore these pasties they're from the brand nude wear these are the ones that I've been wearing for years and years they're really great so they look like this they're like little petals and they stick onto 
your chest and they just smooth everything over and then for jewelry I just had these little uh, studs in my ears they're like little diamond studs that I actually got off of Amazon <laughs> they are cubic zirconia diamonds I thought they were perfect with the dress and you really cannot tell like if it's from that kind of distance and all of that like the dress was so amazing and so incredible on its own I didn't feel like I needed a lot of jewelry but just having those little diamonds in my ears I think they just looked so pretty and they just kind of reflected a little bit of light when I moved my face and they just added a little bit of sparkle and really complemented the dress well my dress by the way is from Galia Le Havre I believe the exact style name is the Fabiana dress but these dresses are all made to measure so you can make little alterations and adjustments and they make it fit perfectly to your body which I love I did all of my fittings in Paris actually at a store called Metal Fleck I will have again those videos down below and also the boutique name they were so nice such a great team and just the whole Galia Le Havre team as well were incredible I think it was the perfect mix between something that is elegant and traditional but also had this really cool modern like kind of sexy vibe to it nothing like over the top obviously but I loved the top half of the dress and how it was like very structured and then how it went down like in the back and had those two little straps I just thought that was so dainty and delicate and I felt so beautiful in that dress. Okay, I've now opened up your questions on Instagram stories. Okay, the first question is where to splurge and where to save. Okay, so where we splurged, I think the most expensive thing was definitely the villa, like the actual renting of the space where we were staying for the week and hosting the wedding. So we, like in a perfect world, we would have just rented that villa for maybe three or four days but in Ibiza they have like a seven day policy so you can only rent it for a minimum of a week so for us I would say that's where the majority of the money went to but that's just in our case getting a wedding planner as well I think that's definitely an important place to put some money towards so that you feel like you're in good hands you have somebody who's had experience before and you don't have to worry and put so much pressure on yourself to get everything sorted from catering to decor to technical equipment to all the small things like stationery you know all the menus and all of those little things also with that some of the flowers were pretty expensive I actually wanted to save on the flowers and get faux flowers but in the end it turned out that they were pretty much going to be the same price some were even more expensive since they were like silk flowers so we just ended up going with the real ones which were of course beautiful but definitely expensive <laughs> and where we saved was definitely on the alcohol so we didn't have like an open bar when people arrived we had champagne and I don't remember what the second drink was because I didn't have any of those drinks and this was when I was getting ready it was some kind of cocktail and then we had a non-alcoholic version as well for kids and for those who didn't drink so we just had three options there and then of course at the dinner we had wine and I think we had one round of champagne and then after that we had the dancing I think people could still get wine and I think we had some drinks in the villa but we didn't have an open bar basically that's my point because that can get so so expensive and in the end we really had to cut down because the price of everything was extraordinary and we're like no 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 we we have to cut back like this is crazy <laughs> we can't do this I think going into planning a wedding you give like your everything put it all on the table and just you know throw it all out there and then afterwards we kind of like reeled it back in and saw like okay what is actually really important where can we save where how can we like substitute some things so another place that we saved was we didn't have a live band for example we had a DJ who was actually one of most friends who is professional so we did pay him but it was a lot cheaper than getting a whole band which would have been nice but again we're like we were paying for all of this by ourselves so we wanted to make sure that it wasn't like out of the world crazy all like kind of accessory things like having like little poofs and lounges and play areas for the kids like all of that was in our initial plan and then all of that got cut back because 
in the end was just too much. <laughs> okay, um, skincare tips to prep for the big day. Definitely a hydrafacial. I love, love, love hydrafacials. If you're getting married and you wanna really pamper yourself, like doing a nice exfoliation so that you can reveal that beautiful skin underneath and just get rid of any dull skin. Doing a mask as well, like the Clarify and Brighten face mask is amazing for that. Just making sure that you are nice and exfoliated and then hydrated as well. You know, having something like a glowy base underneath your makeup just give you that beautiful like lit from within glow I think that is so so beautiful to do for your wedding day hey uh, next question is is it true that it goes by very quickly yes 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 it goes by so fast and that is a huge huge thing that I would recommend for any brides or grooms anyone getting married definitely take it in make sure that you're taking moments on that busy day to really just soak it in like really just take it in really look around you look at your partner look at your family and just like relish in that joy because that is going to be over so quick that's actually something that Mo said looking back that he would have loved to do more on that day but we did have so many people there obviously like friends family and you want to make sure that everyone is like entertained and taken care of and you're just especially Mo he's very much like um he really wants to make sure that everything is fine so I think his attention was very much like scattered that whole day and looking back he definitely says that he would have loved to have more moments where he really just got still and took it in and just could really enjoy that day because it does go by so so fast that's why it's also really important to make sure that you have a good videographer and a good photographer to really capture the moment so that you can look back on it for many many years to come the next question is what is the best part of the wedding ceremony for me it was definitely here hearing Mo's vows and doing the ring exchange that was so special and I got so teary-eyed during all of that I was really trying to like hold it back <laughs> so that I wouldn't like cry mascara on my face but that was definitely very special and just having my dad walk me down the aisle being with my mom like having my family around it's just such a unique and special experience that I don't know if we will ever have again like all of our family in one place to celebrate our love like how how special is that like that is just so amazing and something that i will have in my heart forever next question is where's mo's suit from so his suit is from suit supply and he actually had a custom suit made for the wedding day in this beautiful linen fabric really really beautiful and i would highly recommend it for any groomsmen the quality is really good and they're not like crazy crazy expensive so that's a place i would definitely recommend and mo was really really happy with his suit and the choice and since then he's actually gotten a few other things from that store a few of you are also asking about my wedding shoes and they were from jimmy choo i've actually worn those shoes quite a bit like afterwards in the summer i wanted to make sure i got a shoe that i could also wear after the wedding even though there are so many beautiful bridal shoes i think because the dress itself was such a like spectacular piece i didn't feel like i needed like crazy crazy shoes to go with that so they were really nice and simple i'll also make sure to have them linked down below for you guys the next question is how did you prepare your body and face for the week or month of the wedding so there were a lot of questions about if I did anything special like leading up to the wedding like wellness things body care things I actually didn't really do anything too different from what I normally do I do remember though in the beginning of 2020 so when we had decided to do the wedding I remember thinking like okay I've got to get in really good shape like I want to feel really confident I want to look really great da -da -da -da. I think that's something that most brides will think before their wedding day but I feel like I almost got a little bit too obsessive with it at one point that actually ended up hurting me a lot in the long term like that phase didn't last for a very long time but even though in those few weeks when I was really thinking about like how can I make my body look like a certain way in this time for the wedding that kind of mentality just does not work for me long term and I'm so so happy that I got out of that in time but then leading up to the actual wedding I was so happy and so proud of myself that I had gotten to a point 
point where I didn't feel like I needed to do anything drastic or go on a diet or do like a crazy workout routine or anything like that. I just kept doing the same things that I would normally do, you know, taking care of my body, eating well, working out, going on my walks, like nothing too strenuous because I've noticed that that just backfires in my body. I get inflamed cortisol goes up too high. I made sure to remind myself of that. I ate really well. I had my cookies and my treats and my desserts. Obviously everything in moderation, but I never restricted myself of anything. I never went on a specific diet or cut anything out. Like I didn't cut out sugars or carbs or fats or anything like that. I just focused on taking care of myself, doing really good things for my body, eating healthy, eating what I craved, and just moving my body in the way that I wanted to and I really trust my body as well. I know that I can really listen to it and that it knows what it needs. If I need to take a break, I take a break. If I want to eat, you know, a really delicious, yummy, big salad with lots of like fresh vegetables and all of that, I do that. But then if I want some cookies, I will also have some cookies. And I just kept on doing that before the wedding day as well. And I felt like I looked really nice. Like I'm happy with all of that. And none of that came from from any restrictive behavior, anything negative. Like I still kept doing what I was doing after the wedding, I'm still doing the same thing. And for me, it's really about like a long-term healthy approach, keeping your health as a priority and how you feel as a priority and then how you look and all of that comes as a second. There were also some questions about specific decor and themes and all of that. I actually made a whole video on that before we got married on what our theme was, on how I decided on it and like what my whole vision was. I will have that video linked down below as well if you guys want to check that out because a lot of the questions were about that as well and then of course like makeup questions all of that all the videos will be linked for you down below i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got some inspiration or some good tips and advice are you guys planning a wedding too are you getting married soon let me know down below in the comments i always love to hear from you guys and i really appreciate when you leave me comments and feedback and if you like the video so yeah definitely let me know down below in in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.